Hi there, I'm Paddy Byrne. In this video, I'll be explaining how I created a batch transcription request in Azure Cognitive Services from Power Automate. We'll be looking at how I used the HTTP request action in Power Automate to create the, ba to create the batch processing request. We'll be looking at what URI I used, how to authenticate with Azure Cognitive Services, what I used for the body of the request, and we'll also run a test and look at what value, sorry, what valuable information we get back from the request by analysing the actions output in Power Automate. If you want to see what prerequisites I used and how to get them, look at the previous video. That's part one. If you've already created the transcription request and you want to know how to pull the results and get the status of it, or you want to look at getting the transcript file into a format that you can use in a text file, then skip to our next episode, episode 3 or episode 4. Or if you just want to download the flow, go to my website www.34365.com and download the flow from there. I'll put a link in the description. Cheers. Now that I had gathered all the information that I needed, it's time for me to create my flow in Power Automate. And I created the flow that ran from blank based on as manually triggering a flow. Now if you remember our steps that I said we used that Microsoft told us, first thing is create a batch processing request. So I first looked at using the HTTP plus Swagger action. At first it looked as if that would be easier, as it provided you with all the body elements as inputs within the action. But I just couldn't for the life of me get it to authenticate, so instead I used the HTTP action. So back to the Swagger document. This is my post request for creating a new transaction. So the URI that I'm going to post to is a combination of these two bits here. Next, I need to add the authentication key as a header. And I found that out from reading the Microsoft documentation here. And then we'll take the body from our Swagger document. As this was just a test, the only two variables that I changed within the body of my request was the recording URL and the name. And I'm going to initialise variables for them. The reason I'm initialising variables for them is because I may want to dynamically populate those if I decide to do anything else with this flow. For example, I could dynamically populate them from an app. Note that the recording URL is the full URL that I got from my Azure Blob Storage Explorer. I'm just going to rename the steps so they're a bit more relevant as I go. Now I ran into a lot of unexpected issues, in particular when checking whether the transcription had completed running or not because I didn't have a unique transcription name. So what I do now is use the UTC now expression and append that to my transcription name. So that guarantees that that's always going to be unique. Now, what I did, I named, saved and tested my flow right now without finishing the rest of it. The reason I did that is because I want to see what the, the response of this first create transcription step is. And that helped me to build the next step. I found that the create transcription step takes about a minute to run within Power Automate. Once that's done, we can see that that action succeeded. I copied the body of our output, put it into Notepad++ as the body is in JSON format. 
and Notepad++ has some functionality that can format that so it's easier to read as JSON. The bit I'm interested in is the ID and overall status of the transcription. And we can see that that's running. Remember I said one of the key takeaways from our notes was that this is asynchronous. So if I were to analyse the output of the transcription now, it wouldn't be complete. If we try to save it as a, to a text file, we'd only get part of the file. So we need to get the transcription and then pull it, keep checking the status until the status is complete or otherwise. So that's how I created a batch transcription request in Azure Cognitive Services speech to text via Power Automate. If you want to download the completed flow, feel free to download from my website and amend as you feel the need to. Or you can join me in the next episode where I'll be telling you how I learned how to pull the time transcription request, find out the status of it and check if it's succeeded or not. Blue skies.